Hello everyone. Welcome to Disha Learning. Today we will discuss the equity theory of motivation. If you like our videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Assume you are paid $1,000 per week as an office coordinator. You've been at your current employment for around five to six months. You are very talented at what you do, you think of imaginative methods to make things easier for others around you, and you are a wonderful colleague who is ready to help others. You will volunteer to remain late when necessary and are adaptable if your working hours are changed. Imagine now that they are hiring another employee who will work beside you. He has the same job title as you, and will perform the same kind of activities. This individual has been communicating with you and has revealed that he earns $1,200 each week. What would your reaction be if you heard that? Would you be motivated to continue behaving as you have in the past? Put yourself in the scenario and ask yourself honestly if you would be unsatisfied and if your motivation would be affected. The majority of people would say, it's unfair. They may take corrective action by speaking with their supervisors. However, if it is not corrected, they will no longer be driven to give their best or perform well. This could be explained by equity theory. According to this theory, individuals are motivated by a feeling of fairness in their interactions. Our perception of fairness is influenced by the social comparisons we make. We specifically compare our inputs and outcomes to the inputs and outcomes of others in similar position or jobs. We experience fairness when we believe that the input to outcome ratio have in a particular scenario is similar to the input to outcome ratio of a comparable person in a similar job. This person whom we compare with is also known as the referent other. Perceptions of unfairness cause dissatisfaction in us and lead us to take actions to minimize the perceived inequity or unfairness. This is the essence of what equity theory is. Organizations have to ensure that employees feel that the work and the rewards they receive are equitable and fair. Disregarding this principle of equity when designing compensation and benefits can have negative consequences on the morale and the productivity of employees. Thank you for listening. If you would like us to cover a specific topic, please add that in the comments below.